Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to learn how Ansible works. And this is going to be very easy and very interesting. Do not worry if you, this is the first time you are learning Ansible. I am going to start from very basics, from very scratch. Now, in Ansible, we have basically two machines or two systems. The first system is called as the controller and the second system is called as the host. So the controller system is where we install Ansible and we create the Ansible files and the host system is the system that will be controlled by the controller system. And we can have multiple host system that will be controlled by a single controller. So understand that we have two systems, controller and host. They can be one controller and one or multiple host systems. Now controller system or controller machine in Ansible is the machine where you will install Ansible and you will create Ansible files like the inventory file and the playbooks. Do not worry, I will tell you about these files in a moment, but just understand controller is the system where you will install Ansible and in Ansible, we do not have to install it on the host systems or the host servers because Ansible is agentless. So we do not have to install Ansible on the host systems. We just need to have a SSH connectivity or some sort of connectivity between the controller and the host. Most commonly it is SSH that we use to connect between controller and host. So the controller system or the controller machine will manage the host servers and it will take care of uh, doing updates, adding or removing softwares, doing configurations on these host systems. And we can do all these using Ansible files. So the controller machine can be any machine. It can be a physical system. It can be a cloud machine. It can be a virtual machine. It will be a machine where you will install Ansible and then you will create files which will have information about the host systems and the instructions you have to run on the host systems. And host systems or host machines are the machines which are controlled by the controller machine. It is also called as managed node. The controller machine can be called as management node of Ansible and the host machine can also be called as Ansible managed nodes. And again, host machine can also be a physical machine, can be a cloud machine, can be a virtual machine and this will be managed or controlled by the controller. And there will be a SSH connectivity between controller and host system. Now, you can just create a picture in your mind. We are going to do practicals in the coming session. So this will be more clear to you how we create these uh, files and systems and how do we connect and then run the instructions using playbooks. But for now, just imagine two machines, controller and host. Controller is where we have in Ansible installed. Host is the machine that will be controlled by the controller. You can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you. Now, as I told you, there can be multiple host machines and a single controller can control all these host machines or we can uh, do configurations, setup, software install, uninstall, update, all that we can do from a single controller on all these host machines. There should be a SSH connectivity between controller and host machines. Now. The controller machine is also called as Ansible management node and the host machines can also be called as Ansible managed node. So these are just uh, some terminologies. So whenever you see this terminology, you should understand what this means. Now on the controller machine where we have Ansible installed, we will create two files. The first file is called the inventory file. In this file, we give information about the host systems like their IP addresses, their domain names, uh, how do we connect to these systems. So all this information about the hosts will go in the inventory file and in the inventory file we can also create groups and put multiple hosts in a single group. This will help sometimes if we have to uh, add a the same configuration on multiple machines, we can put all these machines in a group and then we can just run all the instructions on that group. So the inventory file will list the details about these host systems, their IP addresses, domain names, etc. We can also put or categorize them into groups and then we can also give some properties like how do we connect to these machines, username, password, etc. Then uh, the, this is generally a .ini file, the inventory file. Uh, if I show you an example, let me say Ansible inventory file example. 
so you will have a better understanding of how this file may look like in real world so you can see here this is the official documentation of Ansible you can see this is a inventory file here you can see we have created a group called web server and these uh, are put under here these domain names of these machines are put here it can be IP addresses as well here of these machines so these are the machines these are the host machines that go in the inventory file then we have the playbook file which is a yaml file written in yaml with the extension .yml and this is the file where we give instructions of what we have to do on the host machines if we have to add any configuration do some updates add remove software whatever we have to do all these instructions will go in the playbook and this will run on the hosts that you define in your inventory file and then all the things you have to do you can put in the playbook we can also run the instructions uh, within a group or we can run the instructions for single host machine as well if I show you an example of a sample playbook you can see this is a sample playbook this is in YAML format and you can see here it is written host which host to use and then uh, whatever we have to do will go as per the instructions here okay so you can see all these are the examples here so let me show you I can also show you some more playbooks if I say Ansible playbook file example you can see all these different examples here now do not worry if this is something which is a little difficult when we do practical hands-on this will become very easy for now just remember that we have these two files on the controller so you can see this is a playbook here we can give a name and the host then the task we have to do on the host all that goes here in the playbook file okay so we have these two files on the controller and this is how Ansible works in the coming session we will do practicals and we have, will have more clarity on how this works we will create a controller we will add the inventory file and the playbook file we will have a host machine and then we will uh, control the host machine do configuration on the host machine from our controller machine i hope this was very useful if you have any questions you can let me know i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning